NBC4 State House reporter Natalie Fami joins us live to explain how these lawmakers plan to make sure that happen happens. Natalie. That's right. It's all in a newly proposed ethics reform bill that lawmakers who proposing the legislation say is the first of its kind in decades. Representative Derek Marin, along with a group of other Republican lawmakers, introduced the Ohio Ethics and Financial Disclosure Reform Act. Marin says it's all about making sure they can serve the public to the best of their abilities. As scandals have taken place and multiple ethical issues have risen to the surface, Ohio's ethics and financial disclosure statutes have been stagnant. Going into this, you know, new General Assembly, there is a real opportunity for legislators to focus on greater transparency. The bill does four things. It requires the Ohio Elections Commission to publish financial disclosure statements from elected officials and candidates for public office. The bill prohibits state elected officials from receiving compensation for serving on corporate boards, with few exceptions. The bill also requires all lobbying income to be reported and sourced directly to clients, mirroring federal law. This makes it crystal clear that they are going to report on their disclosure statements every bill that they have um, been involved with. Finally, the bill makes it so any nominees for the Public Utilities Commission must submit a financial disclosure. The governor will have the information necessary to know what ties these individuals have had and continue to have with entities that they are supposed to regulate. We want them to be focused on us and not to be in the pocket of utility companies. Republican lawmakers like Marin and Representative Phil Plummer also say they want to restructure power in the Ohio House. Our goal was to change the rules, so we de decentralize this power, we all have a voice, and we can do the job that our 120,000 constituents or so or less elected us to do. This all comes as the corruption trial for the former Speaker of the House is underway. Plummer says the Republican side of the aisle was involved, and now they plan to fix the issues here at the State House. Local for you at the State House, I'm Natalie Fahmy, NBC4. Natalie, thank you much.